Assalamualaikum and very good morning to everyone. Okay, today we are going to continue our lesson on the topic our and about module 7. Today is Sunday, 5 September 2021. Time is 11 a.m. until 1 p.m. These are the skills that we are going to cover for today's lesson, which are reading and writing. The learning standard are 3.2.3 and 4.2.4. The main objective is that most pupils will be able to read the time from analog and digital clock. And the complementary objective, people should be able to write the time in a correct sentence using the analog and digital clock. The success criteria, uh, read five out of six time, then write the correct sentence to describe the time using the analog and digital clock. Okay, now let's learn about time. Okay, the first one we are going to learn about quarter two and quarter pass. Quarter means suku. Suku means 15, 15. So when the, uh, the short needle or the short hand is on number three, it means quarter. It means 15, 15 minutes. Quarter, we have two which are quarter pass and quarter two. Quarter pass means the time is already past the quarter. For example, like this one, okay, uh, one, two, three, this one is already past, quarter past. Okay, next one is quarter two. For quarter two means the time will be in the next hour, in about a quarter, okay? That is quarter two. Okay, let's look at this one, quarter past and quarter two. Okay, is a quarter past one. Okay, look at this one, the um, purple one. Is a quarter past one, uh, five, ten, eleven. So, it's already quarter from one o'clock. And then quarter two is a quarter to one. It means that we will have another quarter to reach one o'clock. Okay, next one. What's the time? What time do you think this is? I think the answer is, is a quarter to three. Okay, the answer is, is a quarter to three. Because... The long needle or the long hand is here. So when the long hand arrives 12, it will be 3 o'clock. So the correct answer will be is a quarter to 3. Okay, now let's guess the time. What's the time? It's a quarter past 2. It's a quarter past two because the number is 15. 15 means quarter. So it's a quarter past two. Next one was the time. It's a quarter past nine. It's a quarter past nine. Okay, can you guess this one? I think the answer is, it's a quarter to 11 is a quarter to 11. What about this one? Is a quarter to? Is a quarter to four? Is a quarter to four? Okay, now let's look at this one. What is the answer? It's a quarter past eight. Is a quarter past eight. What about this one? I think the answer will be. It's a quarter to 11. What about this one? It's a quarter past 11. Okay. Just now you already um, answered some question about quarter past and quarter to. Now I'm going to revise about one o'clock and half past two. 
If you can remember, you already learned about this in the previous topic. Module 1 or Module 2, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, what time is this? Let's look at this one, the first one. What do you think the answer? It's 3 o'clock or it's half past 3. If the long needle or the long hand is at 12, it will be o'clock. So the answer will be it's 3 o'clock. Now let's look at this one. What is the answer? It's 12 o'clock. Okay, next one. What time is this? If the long needle or the long hand is at number 6, look at this one, it will be half, okay? For example, half past 3 is half past 4 is half past 6. What is the answer for this one? I think the answer is is half past 9. And this one is half past 6. Okay, second, next one was the time. What is the answer? I think the answer is is half past three. It's half past three. Next one. What is the answer? The long hand is at number six, so it's half. The short needle, the short hand is at number one, going to number two, so it's half past one. It's half past one. Okay, next one is, is uh, a digital clock. The answer will be is the minute is 30. So it will be half. So it's half past three. Is half, half four, 30, three for this one, the hour. Okay. Okay, next one, what is the answer? The long hand, the long needle is at number 12. So the answer will be, it's 8 o'clock. It's 8 o'clock. Okay, next one, what is the answer? The long hand, the long needle is at number 6. So it will be, it's half. It's half past. Look at the short hand. It's number 1. So it's half past 1. It's half past 1. Okay, next one, the long needle is at number 12, the short is at number 5, so it's 5 o'clock. It's 5 o'clock. Okay, now we are going to play some game. What game is that? Okay, we are going to check it out. Okay, this is a question. What's the time? Look at the clock there. The short needle is at number four and the long hand, the long needle is at number three. So what do you think the answer is? Okay, it's a quarter past four. It's a quarter past four. Where are you? Okay, he is asking the girl, where is she at that time? So the girl answer, I'm at the cinema. Okay, next one. What's the time? Look at the long hand or the long needle is at number 12 and the short needle is at number 6. So it will be 6 o'clock. It's 6 o'clock. So where is she? Sorry. So she's answer. I'm at the swimming pool. Look at the pool. It's very cozy. It's very comfortable. Do you want to swim at the pool class? Okay, I want to swim at the pool. Okay, now I want you to complete the quiz in Google form. It's only uh, 10 questions, basically on what you listen to what I explained to you about time. Okay, next one, I also want you to answer questions in your workbook, page 55. The first one, look, read and match. Look at the um, time, then match to the correct picture of time. And then second one, read and draw the time. Read this one, is three o'clock. It's three o'clock means the long hand of the long needle will, will be at number 12 and the short needle will be at number three. Read carefully and draw nicely. When you have finished, don't forget to snap picture and upload in the Google Classroom. That's all for today. Goodbye, kids. I will see you again next week. Thank you very much. Assalamualaikum.